Hello everyone! Um, I never know how to start my videos, but I'm doing great. I hope you're doing great. And I'm just gonna provide a brief rundown of my thoughts on the FNAF movie. Um, okay, uh, so my first thought is that, wow, the costumes look incredible. Like, just out of this world incredible. Um, I think they did an excellent job. And um, I'm really proud to see that the community is liking the movie. Although I've heard some negative reviews, but I don't know how. It, I don't. I can't understand how it will be taken negatively. Um, but you know, people are never satisfied. There's always going to be that angry crowd that never, never get what they want. But you know, you gotta you gotta just enjoy it because it probably took a lot of effort. The costumes look outstanding, and I'm glad they took the route of taking, making costumes, not like doing CGI, which it just has more realism to it. Um, so my thoughts, I have not actually seen it yet, and I'm just providing info based on what I've seen on YouTube, like the snippets. I don't want any spoilers, so please don't spoil anything in the comments. I've only seen snippets, so I, I technically they're not spoilers, they're just little clips that I've seen, like here and there. But anyways, um... So, two things I wanted to add. So, I originally wanted to be able to see it and go as Foxy, but I didn't finish the costume. And, um, the movie's already premiered a long time ago, and, um, I don't think they would allow me to wear it in the movie theater because it's a mask, and it could be distracting. So, it's a bummer, but, um, maybe a backup plan would be if they have, like, a drive-in theater, I could maybe do that, but... I doubt that they still even have those anymore. Um, I don't know if they do. Um, maybe not in the US, but maybe where you guys are. I, I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm trying to keep this video as short as I can because I know you guys have busy lives, as do I. Um, I I will add another episode to the series, the Springlock series. Um, I. Just haven't gotten a chance to there's gonna be like three or four episodes so it's not gonna be that big but um i'm also gonna like upload the furby content also another thing regarding foxy i noticed that he is the only one in the movie who was an animatronic and i'm gonna contradict the whole thing because when i come up with my costume it's it's actually gonna be like if there was a foxy costume in the set but there isn't if you notice, I don't know, I noticed that. Because all the other ones have a person inside, but that one's just the bare endoskeleton, which I found really strange. Also, I think um, it might be because of the legs, and they couldn't figure out a way how to make a person look like they were in there. Like, I don't know. It's hard to pull that off, but... Um, there could have been a lot of reasons, or maybe they just ran out of money. I doubt that that's a reason why, because they made so much at the box office. Like. I don't even know, probably like millions, even billions. I don't know how movies work, don't don't come at me. Also, last thing, uh, Spring Bonnie, movie Spring Bonnie. I'm not too satisfied because I just didn't... I kind of wish that they just made Spring Trap. I wish that they didn't make a Spring Bonnie because Spring Bonnie's design is very controversial and like there's so many different renditions of him. And my favorite one is the one that's like the unwithered spring trap. And it has like the darker ears and the darker tummy. And um, you know, it like just looks like spring trap, but just unwithered. Now, another thing I don't understand is in the movie, I've seen this scene where when William Afton has the suit on, um, his eyes are glowing, which here's how spring locks work. They only hold on to the mechanisms and if a person's inside, they can't have the animatronics inside with the person. So there's no possible way for the eyes to be glowing. So I don't, yes, it's haunted, but that doesn't make sense, like whatsoever. <laughs> um, Cause there is no animatronics. And furthermore, if this was a kid's place, why in the world would they have glowing white eyes for the eyes as spring lights? That just, none of it makes sense. So um, yeah, that's just my two cents, but ha, huh, sense, sense. <laughs> Anyways. Um, that's all for this review, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.